Hey, your collective collectors, welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome. I've I've got to show you this now. When I was at the Coventry show a couple of months ago, I picked this up. Um, I'd, I'd already been round once and sort of asked the guy about it. it. weren't this I wanted, it was the six-wheeler at the bottom. But it got everything so cheap that when I went back at the end of the show, he'd still got it. And I thought to myself, I said to him, look, I only want the six-wheeler. He says, OK, he'd put a figure in each, so you got a figure with it. And he said, yeah, just take the one for £10, which was the six-wheeler and the, the figure that was with it and I said yeah okay and then as I was about to walk away I says no look I says I'll, I'll just take both so I got both for 20 quid with two figures now the downside to this is I don't know if this is the actual figure that goes with this set but let me just tell you it is absolutely terrible absolutely terrible why oh why did Hasbro make these figures? It's a semi Ken doll. It, it can't move its arms only up and down and round. It's got no bend and he also doesn't bend it, his hands. It's, it's terrible, but the legs are brilliant. And I just think to myself, why would they do that? Why? Head sculpt's pretty cool. I, I quite like that, but I just don't understand. This this toy is only a 50% playable or usable toy. It's terrible. And now it's gone. Right, so I'm going to give you a quick review of this. Now, apparently it's supposed to have engine noises and all sorts of other stuff. Now, when you buy the pack, you get the helmet with the car. I don't think you get it with the outfit. But what you do get with the outfit is a baseball cap. Now, I didn't get that with this. Uh, so it was uh, only sort of, it was almost there. But what I, the other thing I did get is, you know, the sock that they put over their heads, you know, the fireproof sock. I've got that, but I've put it in the wash because it was a little bit, bit minging. So let's move Jody out of the way and let you have a look at this because what else you get is you get a couple of these rockets, look. And you just pop them in. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> Absolutely love it. So yeah, you get two missiles that sit in there and then that closes up. Now, the other thing it's supposed to do is make engine sounds. So I'm just gonna have a quick look at that and see how that goes. Uh, it's probably like some of them big, huge, massive batteries, if it works. Right, so what we're looking for is no batteries in here. Let's just hope there's none. Like every collector wishes that if you get something that works with batteries, that please don't let there be any batteries in there. Oh, no way. Fuck. Let's have a look. Well, they look like they're all right. They don't look like they've leaked. All we can do is hope batteries.
yeah, so overall, it's a pretty nice thing. You can imagine getting this as a young child back in the 90s. If you're just getting into Formula One as well and then being able to have an F1 car for your figures. I like the engine noises. It's a bit gimmicky. It has, must have a gyro thing in it that when you move it side to side, it obviously changes the balance and then changes the sound. I like the screeching, like the wheel spins. It's all good. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But that said and done, there's one thing left to do. Let's get out and collect. Till next time, keep collecting.